right, let me just load up Race Lab real quick. Make sure that's going. There we go. All right, so I think this, the next lap I run here is a 123.4. So it's the fastest that I've run. Um, I tried a new couple new techniques tonight that I will, that I'll talk about uh, where I found a, a half a second in this car from yesterday. I did use some VRS data, looked at some other drivers and I made some adjustments in the Porsche. The plan was to run the BMW because I had been fastest in that by a, a good amount. Uh, but I think I kind of nailed it tonight in the Porsche. So if I can run this in practice the next couple of days, it's probably what I'm going to do. So this is starting with uh, turns nine and 10 onto the front straight. So carrying a long trail break into this corner to get the car down. And always looking at your throttle pickup point at this apex here. So you can get the throttle as soon as you can. You want to stay off the curbing here, but it is, if you do catch some curbing, just modulate your throttle correctly and you can still get a nice exit. Turn one here is, is nothing but a touch on the brakes. Um, I do it right as I'm going over the crest. And then kind of just letting the car coast, adding a little throttle or brake if necessary to get the car all the way down onto the inner curbing real close to the wall. So just a little bit of brake. You can see how fast I get to wide open throttle here. Just past the, this curbing. Sometimes you can even do it a little bit sooner. Actually, that was right before. So here my reference point is the break in the road because there's no good reference points. I guess you could maybe try to pick something up in your peripheral on the wall, uh, but I just use the crest in the road. And for this corner, um, if you if you thrash the car in and get real close to the crest before you start braking, you're not going to be able to get the car settled to get down to the apex. Um, so I, do, I start the braking. This is one thing I did tonight that I was doing a little bit differently before is I'm starting my braking earlier and carrying a a longer trail break, a softer break for longer than than more of a, a jab. You can see there's not much brake input required to get the car down where I want it to be wide open throttle so quickly. Show that again. And up here, I'm using the sign board on the left. Uh, once it crosses into my peripheral is when I start my braking. And again here, I'm employing a little bit of a longer, lighter brake than I was previously to carry a little bit more speed in the first uh, part of the corner, maybe the first third of the corner. So here I'm using reference on the the signs right here i was a little bit earlier than normal back to the throttle because i had a good line but I'm, as soon as i can peak this sign is when i want to be aiming for wide open throttle so i peaked the throttle a little bit early there and then went back to full as soon as i can there's a lot of different ways you can get through this corner fast um, you can give a little dab at the brake you can do a big lift you can point the car into the unknown and get down and just catch the camber just right. You don't have to brake at all. Um, depends on the car. It depends on the tire, the condition of the tires. Uh, this fast lap for me was lap six. So tires at this point are their fastest usually. It, especially these, in these cooler conditions. It's overcast. Um, you can see in VRS the, the temperatures. Um, so I, I, the first practice session I launched, I got this temperature. So I kept trying to replicate that in my other sessions to be consistent when I was comparing the cars. So anyways... Um, a lot of different ways to get through this corner, but if you can get some wide open throttle between the apex and your braking zone, that's going to pick you up some time as well. Using the darkness, um, if the track's not as worn in, um, you can be looking at the Acura sign, but pretty much a steady brake all the way from your starting point all the way up. You don't want to brake too much here. You can lose a lot of time by over braking to this corner. You have to be willing to go out to the 
to um, the f all the way tracking out um, as you're apexing, taking this, treating this, uh, it's like a double apex, but treating it almost like a single apex and sweeping back around instead of doing like a jagged, um, you know, uh, two apex corner here. But you can see this angle, until you do it a few times, it feels really strange. Like it feels like you're turning in way too early. And you're going to clip the curbing. Like if you're looking at the car right here with the, with the input in, you see my wheel input won't change too much until exit. It doesn't look like you're going to make the corner. But if you make this corner wide enough, uh, you can take that trajectory through here. And it's going to allow you to pick up a lot of speed from this point to the curbing instead of kind of coasting down here straight. And waiting to get waiting until the apex curbing here to get back on throttle so my reference here i am looking at you can see how the track crests and it flattens out as soon as the track flattens back out is when is when my when my braking zone starts. So you can probably pick up a pole here somewhere, but this crest goes all the way across. So I use this as a reference point no matter where I am left, right on the track. Carrying a kind of a long trail break there. There's a lot of camber on this corner, but only uh, only at the curbing. So if you spit out mid track up here, you're not going to be able to accelerate as greatly down this little short run right here. Again, like I was saying before, I'm doing a, a long, light brake to scrub some speed to get the car down to not over-brake this corner. So I did catch some curb on the, at the apex here, which is, it's, it's not ideal, it's okay. You can see I, I kept it at partial throttle for a little bit longer than usual. All right, I'll let the video play through um, again, and then I'll then I'll kill the video. Hopefully, this helps uh, find you guys a little bit of time. All right, guys, see you on Wednesday.